again! Woohoo! This is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and we are having the times of our lives in Bali! We are talking about Vital Tantra and uh, the chakra system. Right now we are going through every uh, chakra and as you notice we are not going through them, uh, through them through the sequence of you know crown, third eye, throat and so on. We are kind of moving a little bit around with a different rhythm and uh, right now the one we are going to do is the sex center. Everybody likes sex, right? If you don't like sex, you should. Because if you don't like sex, sex doesn't like you back. Okay? <laughs> so, joke aside, uh, the sex center is really a source of power and energy in your life. So, if you are not using your sexual energy at all, what's going to happen is that you tend to contract a little bit. And of course, you can transcend all these energies into blissful, beautiful, transcendental energies, okay? You can become a monk and never activate your sexual energy, and that's fine. But what we are talking about here is not necessarily just the sexual energy, it's really the sex chakra. So it's a wheel of energy that can really get contracted and not really blossoming and expanding. Realize that in the power of sexual energy, it's life that we are creating. It's life that we are generating, right? Think about that. If it wasn't for sex, we would not be around in the first place. So it's very important to keep that in mind in the way we relate to sexual energy. Sexual energy is sacred, okay? It's a divine gift. So when we are trapped in shame and guilt patterns, what tends to, to happen is that we are blocking our sex center. In the process of blocking our sex center, we are cutting ourselves from a source of energy which is extremely powerful, limitless in our lives. So if you look at sexual energy on the planetary level, it doesn't look good, okay? We are like, in terms of level of optimization of our sexual energy as a human race, we are maybe at 20% optimization. We don't score really high. There is lots of traumas. There is lots of abuse. There is all this porn industry, suppression. It's like, it's not, it's not necessarily nice. You know, there's lots of shame and guilt around that. So what we try to do here is to bring, again, a sense of freshness and uh, flow in this in this area and don't get me wrong okay we are not talking about going around and having free sex and orgies all over the place that's not what we're talking about you can free your sexual energy and have absolutely no physical contact with anybody so i'm going to give you a technique that you can practice that is going to help you release the tension that might be there and realign your sexual vibration with the perfect plan, the perfect potential that you have in terms of using your sexual energy in positive and uplifting ways. So it's a mantra. It's a word. This word is Kamma. Kamma. And we are going to use to add another word to that, which is Yama. So Kama means sex desire, pleasure in Sanskrit. And yama means control or mastery. Very, very simple. So you can use this mantra and associate it with your name. Kama yama followed by your name. For instance, I'm using the name Rajaya for myself. The way it works is I'm going to do it like that. Kamayama Rajaya, Kamayama Rajaya, Kamayama Rajaya, Kamayama Rajaya, Kamayama Rajaya, Kamayama Rajaya. You see that I'm grabbing energy from the sky and bringing it to my solar plexus. I'm activating this area as well through the movement of my you know, of my arms. Kamayama Rajaya, 
You can move around as well, you know, make it a little bit like a dance, something that becomes fun. You can move your hips, start entering into movements where you are calling energy towards this area. And uh, if you feel like your sexual energy is not flowing or you are not really connecting with people on that level and you want this juice, this potential juice to be more activated in your life, it's very simple. Use that mantra every day for five minutes. Very, very simple. Okay? Let's move to the next chakra. Have fun. I'll see you soon.